how to pass your level three anatomy and physiology exam, even if you're bad at exams. Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching. Now, this is something I hear a lot. So if you feel like you're really bad at exams, I'm first of all gonna to guarantee to you that you are not alone. Most people, especially as if they're moving towards a fitness-based career and they're very practical and hands-on, tell themselves that they are just bad at exams. It doesn't matter what exam, doesn't matter how, old, how long it's been since they've done an exam before, they just genuinely believe that they're bad at exams. Now, if this is you, then my first tip for you is to remove that thought altogether. And actually, the, the, that is probably the crux of really being able to master your exam, is the belief that you actually can be good at exams. Giving yourself that acceptance and that permission to go forward and be great at your next exam. So that's the first step. And then the next step is to make sure that you're putting the work and effort in. So if it's something that you feel you're not naturally good at retaining information and then putting it in a written format, then actually taking your time can help, especially in an area that you maybe feel less competent in. So my first side is just accept it. The second step is to now really set that time aside so that you have plenty of time to move forwards and to become competent at learning how to be good at exams. And then linking to that, step three, is all about making sure that you practice. So practice some mock questions because it will help you practice your exam strategy. So it's not that you are innately bad at exams and that's it for the rest of your life. It's that you just don't have a strategy that works yet. So that third step is to now find a strategy that works by using proven methods, but also by going through mock questions so that you are able to work out what works for you. So they are my three steps to helping you pass your anatomy and physiology exam first time, even if you're rubbish at exams. Now, if you haven't got any mock questions to go and play with, then that's the first place I want you to go now. So in the links below this, you will find a free mock questions link. You can click into that and follow that through where you can download mock questions depending on the level of anatomy that you're doing or nutrition and also the different subjects. So whether you're doing level two or three as well. So when you're looking at those, go ahead and make that your own. Now also, if you've liked this video, please do put a little thumbs up so other people know how that you've got information from it. And also pop a comment below if it has been helpful. I look forward to seeing you on the next video and good luck for that exam. Not that you need it, because you are great at exams.